Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 14th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about ng submit. <laughs> Alright then gang, so this is our application so far. It's starting to take shape. We've got our search functionality, we've got our order by buttons and we've got these little cross icons which delete ninjas from the list. Now I want to take this one step further and I want to give the user the ability to add a new ninja to the list. So the way this is going to work is by adding a form down here with three input fields, one for the name, one for the hourly rate and one for the belt color. Then we're going to have a submit button which when clicked adds that data to a new ninja object and puts it in this list. So first of all we need to create that form. So let's do that right under the UL. We'll say form as normal and we need three input fields and they're all going to be of type equal text. Then we're going to give each one a placeholder and the first placeholder will be name. We're also going to attach an ng model directive to each one because we're going to store what we put in each input field. So let's grab this bad boy and paste it a couple of times down here. Now the second one is going to be the belt color so we'll just put belt for the placeholder. And the first one, uh, the third one is going to be the hourly rate, so we'll just put rate. Okay, now we need a submit button. So input type equals submit, and then the value is going to be add new ninja. Okay, so let's save that and take a look. So when we write data in here and here and here, then we need to store that in a variable, and we can do that, remember, by using the ng model directive. We can declare an object or variable in here and it's going to add that to the scope object and we can store it. Then when we go to pass that data through into the controller, we can say scope dot whatever and grab that data. OK, so we're going to store all this data on an object called new ninja. So new ninja. And then I want to store the name on the name property of this object. So we'll say no, uh, new ninja dot name. Likewise under here, I want to store this on new ninja dot belt. And then finally, we're going to store this one on new ninja dot rate. OK, so now as we add data to each one of these fields, we're storing it on these properties right here of the new ninja object that we've created there. And then when we pass it through to the controller, we'll have access to them. Cool. So now we need something to happen when we click this button right here. And the way we do that is by using the ng submit directive. So we'll attach that to the form element up here. We'll say ng submit. And the way this works is as follows. When we click this, Angular is going to look for this directive on the form element, and then it's going to fire whatever we put in here. So we want it to fire a function in the controller. So we'll just say we want to fire off the add ninja function like that. Okay, and we'll save it. Now, currently, this isn't defined in the controller because we've not done it yet, so nothing will happen. OK, so let's go ahead and come into the controller and say scope dot add ninja equals a new function like that. And then within here is where we're going to add all of that data that we've collected to this array. All right. So when we're clicking this, it's looking for ng submit, finding this function on the scope. And it looks for that in the controller. It finds it here, add ninja, and it's going to fire this stuff here. Now, the way we're going to add this data to the array is via the push method in JavaScript. So push just takes some data and it adds it to an array. So first of all, we need to get this array. So we'll copy that and we'll write dot push. And then whatever we put in the brackets there is going to go onto this array. So we need to pass in an object because all of these things in the array are an object. Each ninja is an object. So we need to take this data that we've stored here and turn that into a ninja object. So let's push, uh, push through an object. So we'll use the curly bracket notation. And then the first property on these objects is the name. So we'll say name is, and we want to grab this model right here, new ninja dot name, okay? And we do that by accessing the scope object first of all because it's all stored on the scope dot new ninja dot name. Make sense, right? Next, we need the belt. And again, that's on the scope dot new ninja. Let's just delete that. I've uh, pasted too soon. Scope dot new ninja 
dot belt. Then we want the rate, which is on scope again, dot new ninja, dot rate. And then finally, we want this available property right here. Now, I'm assuming if we add a new ninja that they are going to be available. So I'm just going to set this to true right here. So now we've created our new ninja object right there. We've grabbed the data from these models here, which we took from these input fields, okay? And we've added them to this object, which is very much like these objects. And then we're using the push method to add it to this array, okay? So there's one more thing I wanna do. It's not absolutely necessary, but you see this rate thing right here. I wanna turn that into an integer because right here it's an integer, but when we add it into a field, it's gonna be stored as a string. So all I'm gonna do is use pass int, that's a JavaScript function, to turn that string into an integer, okay? So I'm gonna save that right now and just give this a whirl. Let's say OB for the name, the belt color is gonna be blue and the rate is gonna be 80. So let's add new ninja. And now we get OB, 80 pounds and blue belt. Pretty awesome, right? Now there's one more thing I wanna do. When we add a new ninja, I want this data to clear out because then we can add a new ninja without deleting this stuff again, right? So let's come back in here and we need to add in a little bit more functionality when this function is called. So once we've added this ninja to the array, then we wanna clear these things here. And all we need to do to do that is set these variables back to an empty string, right? Because then those variables are attached to these inputs and because it's gonna to bind to these inputs right here, it's gonna clear out what's inside of them. So let's come down here under the push method and we'll say scope dot new ninja dot name and instead of a percentage, you probably want to use a dollar sign and we'll set that equal to an empty string, okay? Likewise, we're gonna do the same for each of the other properties. So I'll paste that a couple of times and I'm gonna change this to belt. And finally, this one is gonna be the rate and we'll save that. And now when we add one, OB, we'll come down here, orange for the color of the belt, 80 for the rate, we'll click add new ninja. It's gonna add it and it's gonna clear out these things right here. So now we can add another one easily. So let's say Wendy, what a name for a ninja. Um, the belt is gonna be, I don't know, we'll say green again and give it a rate of 90. And then I'm just gonna add one more and we'll say this is Jen and the belt is gonna be um, blue and the rate is gonna be 25. Okay, so add ninja. So now we're just adding all of these and we can delete them as well, okay? But before I delete any, I'll show you this. This still works on all of them. So we can order by name, still gonna put them all in alphabetical order, or we can order by belt and it's putting those in alphabetical order. We can still search for them. We can say Sean or Jen or Obi, okay? So we can find them that way and we can still delete these new ones as well. That is pretty awesome, right? So there we go, guys. That is ng submit and how we uh, interact with the controller using it. If you have any questions, feel free to add a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the very next tutorial.